Hello everybody, I hope you're having a wonderful day. Welcome to another tutorial. Today I'm going to do how to reverse a string in JavaScript. So I'm just going to have my string and I can just have it say, uh, hello darkness, my old friend, okay? And I'm going to have a function. And I'll just define it up here. So I'll just make this a constant. So const. And I'll just say reverse string. And I'll just make this into an arrow function. OK. And I want to give it some information, so I'm just going to test it, make sure I'm getting access to it. So now I want to call my function um, reverse string. <clears throat> it's expecting data, so I need to give it data. It's expecting that string. Let's run it. Hello. Darkness, my old friend. Cool. So we have access to our function now. Okay, and so what I want to start out by doing is I'm just going to rename this variable. I'm just going to say string is equal to string dot split. And I need to give split a little bit of a specification of what I want to split it by. And I'm going to split it by each space. Okay, so let's see what that gives us so far. Okay, so you can see that the split function had taken my string and at each space it divided it up into an array. So now each word is its own item inside of an array. So that's working really well because now I can manipulate that data however I like. And so I can, actually, I'll, take, I'll just keep that. I can just say split it, and I can say dot reverse, which is a function. See what that gives us. Cool. I've used a lit, a, an array function that takes the items and puts it in reverse order. And now I can join them, and I can say that all on the same line. I can say dot join and it's asking me what I want to join it with. I want it to join these items together in a string, but I want a space in between. So I can say space. Okay, and I spelled friend wrong. There we go. Friend old my darkness hello. So that's working really well. And you can see even kept the capitalization in there, which is proper behavior. And we can see that we can join this with whatever we want. We can do a plus sign. If you're working with links or something in the browser, you can use that or some dashes. Uh, but that is what we want. So that is working really well. So that is a very simple solution of how to reverse a string and a lot of the errors that you usually see is that instead of reversing each word, we're reversing each, all the letters and everything. But we just want each word to be backwards, okay? Uh, so that's my solution. Uh, if you like these videos, go ahead and hit subscribe so that you are notified the next time I upload. Um, and I love suggestions. If you have any requests for any kind of coding challenge or how to do anything in JavaScript or in Python, or in any other language, just let me know in the comments. Thank you so much, and I'll see you guys next time.